Like, as soon as you say, I'm getting up early tomorrow morning. And it always sounds so romantic at 8 p.m. the night before. And we set these gargantuous goals. Tomorrow, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up 5 a.m. What am I going to do? I'm going to work out. Spend some time with Jesus. Balance the budget. I don't have one, but I'm going to balance it. Meal prep? Yeah, I think I'll meal prep. Write that in there. And then you wake up at 5 a.m. and your alarm goes off and your bed sheets start talking to you. You don't really want to go out there, do you? <laughs> do you know that it's a scary world out there? So nice in here, isn't it? Got a thousand reasons for you to stay. Check my thread count. Jackie and I, we've been trying to eat healthy. Emphasis on trying. And we've been doing real good. Jackie's really good, setting us up for success, meal prep, the whole thing. But sometimes I'll run errands, and I didn't tell her how a couple weeks ago, she sent me out to Whole Foods to pick up some, you know, organic, cage-free, happiness goat milk. And I may have not made it to Whole Foods. Because an old friend of mine caught my eye. Do you know Wendy? <laughs> you know, some of y'all, you're like, I don't know. She got um, little ponytails. <laughs> Dance in the breeze. You know Wendy. Okay, good. Then you know about the Wendy's wink. Right? When you're committed to health and nutrition and my body and you're driving to Whole Foods and then all of a sudden in the corner of your eye you see... You know about the Wendy's wink. Then you know about the Wendy's whisper, right? Wendy's whisper always follows the Wendy's wink. Catch that wink, sometimes both eyes. And then she says, where are you going, big boy? <laughs> Been a long time since you stopped by. But I still know your order. Yes, you do. Number one, Biggie Fry with a couple of Junior Bacon cheeseburgers and a Frosty to wash it all down. Don't judge me, Break Church. <laughs> and the thing that's so difficult about Wendy is that um, she promises that within three and a half minutes from placing my order, I can have a fast food affair from the comfort of my own car. <laughs> three and a half minutes, all it takes. It would have been so easy, and it would have been so easy for Elisha to pull on over into this conversation. And it would have been so easy for him to engage with their interrogation, saying, yeah, I guess he is, isn't he? He's leaving. Oh, and I, he's been training me, and I don't think I'm ready to move on without him. And without Elijah, man, what am I going to do? Oh, there he goes by, Elijah. And he would have missed it. He would have missed a game-changing moment. But did you see how Elisha responded every single time? I don't know if we got this verse up next, but he just said, yes. Everyone say yes. I know. But shut up. But be quiet about it. Elisha knew not to pull over. And somebody's word this morning is stop pulling over because you've been getting pushed around by some things in your life and you've been getting pushed around by all these questions and they've been distracting you. Let's just be honest. We all like to believe that we got so many haters in our lives, right? I got so many haters questioning me and maybe you do and that's great. It's not great. We'll talk about that. Pray about it after service. But let's just be honest. Most of those questions are all right up in here. They live in my mind. Because they just keep chirping and chirping and chirping. Did you know? <laughs> Did you know that, you know, um, you're not really equipped to be a parent, are you? Did you know that? I mean, look at your parents. <laughs> Did you know that? Did you know that? And God's saying, don't pull over for that. God's saying, don't pull over when you're trying to break free from something that God already broke you free from. He, and those issues are saying, hey, you tried this before, didn't you? Didn't you? Did you know that you tried to deal with this? How did that work out for you? Did you know, did you know, did you know? Did you know that you're probably a little too young to plant a church? Uh -huh. Did you know that you're probably a little unqualified? Did you know? And all we need to say is, yeah, I know, but I'm moving forward. Because here's what God needs you to know today is that your calling doesn't answer to the questions in your head. And when God, when God has placed a commitment over your life, all those questions, they can keep on chirping and chirping and chirping and chirping and chirping and chirping. And it doesn't, it doesn't mean that they're not there. It doesn't mean that you deny them. But it just means that, yep, I know, thank you very much, but I'm moving forward. Someone say amen. 
Amen.